Today we are going to discuss the area of a triangle, which I think you you've been studying since your primary school. So there are uh, numerous methods to find the area of a triangle. For example, uh, the kids when they used to find the area of a triangle, they what they do is uh, this is the first method I'm explaining to you. What they do is if this is a this is a triangle and they have to find the area, so they count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. So it's 31 complete squares plus now the remaining square they count half up. This is one, this is two, this is three, this is four, this is five, six, seven, and eight. So 31 plus eight. So that is 39 square, whatever is there, it's a millimeter or centimeter. So that was the, that that's the one, way to calculate approximately the area of a triangle but if the triangle is a right angle triangle and this is a this is a height and this is a base so its area is equal to half base multiply height it's a if it is a right angle triangle now if it is not a right angle triangle there's another method and in geometry we call it Heron's formula or Hero's formula it's it's because of uh, the formula was given by the the hero of Alexandria what it says is if ABC are the sides of a triangle then the area of triangle is square root of s s minus a s minus b and s minus c where s is a semi perimeter means s is you add all the sides and divide it by 2 so this method is known as Heron's formula. Heron's, sometimes it is called Heron's formula and sometimes it is called Hero's formula. Let's uh, take an example for this one for the Hero's formula. Let's, let's make a triangle. Suppose this is a triangle. Now this is a triangle and we have to find the area if all sides are given this suppose this is 4 this is 13 and this is 15 so according to Heron's formula let's calculate s so s will be semi perimeter the perimeter is 4 plus 13 plus 15 divide by 2 so that is equal to 32 divided by 2 so s is 60 so we subtract all sides from 16 so this will be 16 minus 13 is 3 16 minus 15 is 1 and 16 minus 4 is 12 so now we have 16 3 12 and 1. So according to this formula, area of triangle is root 16 multiplied by 12 
multiplied by 3 and multiplied by 1. So that is equal to 24. So you can get the area directly using Hero's formula. But now the problem is if all three sides are not given. Now suppose we have this question, this is a triangle, it's not a right angle triangle. Not all sides are given, one angle is given, we have to find the area. So how will you find the area of this triangle? For such type of questions, we use trigonometry. And according to the trigonometry, if a triangle is given, so if this is A, this is B, and this is C, and the sides are C, A and B. So area of triangle will be area of triangle. Either it will be half AB sin C or half BC sin A or half AC sin B. We can use any of these formula depending on the, the sides and the angle given. For example, let's use this one. Now understand one thing AB and there must be angle between them. The same way we are using the cosine rule. Now if BC is given, B and C, so this angle is there. Now we can use this one because two sides and angle between them is given. So we can use the formula straight away that area is equal to half multiply 8.6 multiply 7.8 and the angle between them that is sine 45 so area will be this is 4.3 multiply 7.8 multiply sine 45 is 1 over root 2 so that is 0 0.707 so the area of this, this triangle will be, so it will be 23.71. That is going to be the area of this triangle. So this, this rule is very easy to, to use, only you should know the two sides and the angle between them. So you can use it directly. Now let's try to find the proof of a, of the area of a triangle that is half AB. Suppose this is a triangle A, B and C. This is height H. Now it's the same way the, uh, we have proved the sine rule and the cosine rule. In the same way we are going to prove this because this is involving the sine. So sin A will be equal to opposite over hypotenuse. This is a right angle triangle. This is a right angle triangle. This is opposite and this one is hypotenuse. This is B, this is C 
and this is A. So in this triangle, sine A is equal to opposite is hypotenuse. Sorry, opposite is height height over hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is B. So which shows that H is equal to B sine A. Now if this is a triangle, we also know that area of a triangle is Half multiply base is C multiply height. So that is equal to half C and height we can put this value. That is B sine A. So the area is equal to area of this triangle is half B C sine A. In the same way I can write it half AB sine C. In the same way I can write half AC sine B. So that is the formula you can use for the area of a triangle when all three sides are not given, angle is given and uh, sides are given. Now there is another question, a fence triangular plot of ground has area so they have given the area area is 120 meters square the fence along the two smaller sides are 60 meter and 80 meters and find the angle between them so now if this is our triangular plot and two sides are given this is say this is longer side and let's say 60 and let's say another side is 80 so this is a triangular plot this side is 60 meter this side is 80 meter and this area is and 1200 meter square this is the area so that the angle between them is 150 we have to show this angle so let's say this is a b and c now this is a perfect case where we can apply the area of a triangle this side is C this side is A and this side is B so area of a triangle half now we have this sides B A and B so half A B then sine C so this will be equal to half A is 80 meter, B is 60 meter and multiplied by sine, we don't know this angle, sine C. But we know this area is 1200. So sine C is equal to 1200 multiply 2 divide by 80 multiplied by 60 this cancel 6 times 2 is 12 2 times 2 is 4 so this is half so C is equal to sine inverse half so that is equal to 
So now that is equal to 30 degree. But now the question is angle between them is theta. Show that theta is 150 degree. Now C is the this is the longest side. So angle opposite to it cannot be the smallest. It is supposed to be the largest angle. So next angle it will be what? It will be 150. So angle C is 150 degree so theta is theta is 150 it is good in this question he has told you that find the that c is 150 otherwise if you would have written answer 30 degree it would have been wrong because this is the longest side must have a greatest angle opposite to it so this is a 50 degree 150 degree angle now the second part of this question is Work out the total length of the fencing. You know this side. Now you have to find this side. Now two sides are given. Angle between them is given. And you have to find this. So it would have been. Simple case of C square. Is equal to 80 square. Plus 60 square. Minus 2. Multiply 80. Multiply 60 cos 150. So C square is equal to. So T square is 6400. This is. So it is 10,000 minus. And this value is minus 8313.8. 313.84 so c square is equal to better say c is equal to 18313.84 so c is equal to 135.84 so this is 135.3 so the perimeter is it asking find the total length of the fencing total length is the, the perimeter so 135.3 plus 80 plus 60 this is in centimeters sorry this is in meters and this one is 275.3 275.3 meters that that is the that is the answer of the perimeter and this is the angle given now our next question is that uh, in pqr pq is x plus 2 PR is 5 minus X and angle QPR is 30 degree. So if I draw this, this angle is P, this Q, this is R. So this angle is 30 degree. PR is 5 minus X, 5 minus X and PQ is X plus 2. PQ is X plus 2. The area of triangle is A. So two sides are given and angle between them is given 30 degree. So area of a triangle A. So in that case A is equal to half. Now one side is X plus 2. Another side is 5 minus X. And sine of 30. Because AB half of AB 
sin c the angle between them so that's what we are going to do so that is equal to half this is if i multiply this this is x and 5 5x minus x and x is x square 5 plus 2 is 10 and minus 2 and x is minus 2x and sin 30 is also half so that is equal to 1 over 4 that is area is equal to 10 5x minus 2x is plus 3x minus x square So 1 over 4, 10 plus 3x minus x square, 1 over 4, 10 plus 3x minus x square. That is what we are supposed to prove. That was the part, part A. Now part B. Use the method of completing the square or otherwise to find the maximum value of A and give the corresponding value of x. Now we have this equation that is uh, we can say that 10 plus 3x minus x square is equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation. We will make the graph or find the vertex. We will find the vertex so that we know the maximum value of x. So, this can be written as, so the graph of this will be this way. We want to know what is the value of x here so that we can find the value of a. So, I can write it as x square minus 3x minus 10 is equal to 0. He is saying by the method of completing the square. If you see another video of mine, you can easily uh, use this method that is a x square minus 3x plus half of the coefficient of x that is 3 by 2 and the square of it had it been 5 I would have written in 5 but it is always plus then minus 3 over 2 square minus 10 is equal to 0 what I've done is I just added and subtracted. First you add, always, always remember first you add, then you subtract. So that is equal to now I'm going to take this. Its value is x, this sign, and this value. That is 3 over 2 square. Minus common, this is 3 over 2 is. 9 over 4 plus 10 is equal to 0. So what I am having is x minus 3 over 2 square minus this is 49 over 4. So these are the coordinates that is 3 over 2 and minus 49 over 4. So that is the maximum value, all are the minimum value. So what is the value of a for x is equal to 3? So value of a for x is equal to 3 over 2. So a is equal to 10 plus 3x 3 over 2 minus x square 3 over 2 square so that is equal to 10 plus 9 over 2 minus this will be 9 over 4 so a will be we take 4 LCM so this is 40 plus 18 minus 9 
so that is 49 over 4 and we already have 1 over 4 here So a is equal to 49 over 16, that is 3 1 over 16 is the value of this area. Now there is another question that is uh, in a triangle ABC, AB is X, AC is 5, B is C. This is A, this is B, this is C. So this angle is 150 degree. Given that the area of triangle is 3 and area is 3, 3 over 4 centimeter square, AB is X, AC is 5 plus X. Show that x satisfies this equation. So the same formula. So area is equal to half. This is C. This is B. This is A. B C sine A. So we put the values. So area is 3. 3 over 4 is equal to half. B is 5 plus X. C is X and sin A is 150 degree. This is sin 150. So we simplify this one. That is 15 over 4 multiplied 2 over 1 is equal to 5x plus x square and multiply by sine 50. Sine 150 is also half. So that is 15 multiplied 2 multiplied 2 divide by 4 is equal to x square plus 5x. This can be cancelled. So it will be x square plus 5x minus 15 is equal to 0. Show that x satisfy x square plus 5x minus 15. x square plus 5x minus 15 is equal to 0. Calculate the value of x up to three significant figure. Now we have to calculate the value of x. So let's take the equation x square plus 5x minus 15 is equal to 0. 5 times 3 is 15. We cannot get this one, so what we are going to use is we are going to use the formula. This is one, so we are going to use the formula. This is A, this is B, and this is C. This is A, this is B, and this is C. So x is equal to minus B plus minus root b square 5 square minus 4 a is 1 and c is minus 15 over 2 a is 1 so if you simplify you will get x is equal to so it's minus 5 plus minus this will be root 
9.219 over 2. So x is equal to minus 14.219 over 2 or x is equal to 4.219 over 2. So x will be So x is equal to 4.219 over 2 that is equal to 2.1095 so but it is asking up to three significant figures so three significant figures is this so x will be equal to 2.11 that is the answer we are not we are going to discard this because it is negative so we are not going to take the negative value of it because it's a triangle its side must be positive so the answer is 2.11 that's all for today try to solve some questions if you want to have a mastery over it and don't forget to subscribe my channel if you want any of these questions to be explained again or any other question you have which you are finding any difficulty please do let me know thanks a lot